everybody. I welcome you to another episode of Tank Review with the ISU 122S. Yes, this is the exclusive tank which today, for three days, is available on the EU cluster. And what is it? It's basically an ISU on tier 7 with the 122mm Mod 1944 T25S gun. And I have to say, I only played 5 games because I don't have enough time to do more with the other videos I need to do, but I think in those 5 games I got a good overview of this tank and can tell you what is good and what is bad about it. And I will compare with the SU 12244. Because the 144, one, 12244 one is the D tank with the highest DPM on tier 7 till now. And yeah, for the beginning we'll have a short overlook. As you can probably see, the SG 12244 will have better camouflage. Also, the armor is better. But step by step, okay? Because both tanks are roughly equal when it comes to the hit points. Meanwhile, the SU-122S has 30 hit points more, with 870 hit points, where the SU-122-44 has only 840, which is still a lot of hit points for a TD. Another really unique feature is that the SU-122S has two loader, which is basically the same as the tier 10 TDs have. As you can see, two loaders. And here, come on. Hello. Ah, war gaming. Seriously, what the hell are you doing to me? Here we go. Two loaders. And holy shit, is that annoying. Tank carousel, why are you so broken? And yeah. This is probably a big plus, while the SU-12244 only has one loader. So basically, here you need to drive twice as many games to get your both loaders on the same level. Where on the ICU, you don't need, which is actually really great. But now, to the mobility. The SU-122S has is way heavier and has a, it has a better engine, but Unfortunate, it is not enough. Where this tank can accelerate on flat surfaces to up to 38 kilometers and a maximum speed of 43 top speed, the SC-12244 is better there with 47 kilometers per hour and it reaches this one on flat surfaces. Also, the SU-12244 is a little bit faster backwards with only one kilometer faster, which is 13 kilometers. This one has only 12. The power to weight ratio is, as I said, a little bit worse on ISU-122S. To the armor. This tank is better armored all around. It has 90mm here, it has a strong gun mantlet, it has 90mm here, and 60mm on the R's. While the SU-122 has 90mm on a super good angle, 75mm on the side, with also quite a steep angle, and 45 on the R's. As you can see, the ICU-122 is not as fast as the SU, and not as good armored, because as you can probably think of, these angles are not as good as this one. So, this one has a lot better um, effective armor. But, yeah. This about the armor. And yeah, to the HP to ton ratio, this one has 15.24 and this one has 13.10. And yeah, to the traverse speed, this one is fairly slow, as you can see with 27, but it doesn't feel like this. This one has 42 because this is a medium chassis, so yeah. Both engines have the same amount of burn chance, 15 percentage which is actually not that bad as you can see it has more sorry HP um, horsepower yeah 
And yeah, but now let's go to the gun. Seriously, let's go to the gun. Because the, this is the main feature of all the tanks. And as you can see, holy shit, Jesus Christ, I'm super annoyed right now. Why is it not working as I want it to? Well, then we need to do it like this and now I can wave around. Yay. I'm sorry guys for this little um stupid thing. But yeah, as you can see, the gun stats are equal except in one parameter. The SU-100, ISU-122S has a better rate of fire and holy smokes. I think it's the best DPM in the game. Without anything's added, it has a DPM of 3,162 HP per minute. The SU-122-44 has 2,900. But yeah, with a good crew, you can even get better. Right now, I don't have a fully upgraded commander, as you can see. Two more percentage. I have 6.11 seconds reload time. And I will get roughly 6.1 second reload time. This is incredible. Now I give him the same crew, as you can see. This one only has 6.61. So you have a tremendous amount of damage per minute. It is ridiculous. Also, the ISU has a better fuel range. But I have to say, when it comes to the gun stats, the ISU is ridiculous, because the DPM is so good. And also, the gun is probably a little bit inaccurate, but I think it is well, it is good. You can snipe, it is possible. Also, I have the feeling that it aims a little bit faster than SU 12244. Probably because here I don't have the enhanced gun lane drive. Also because I, the gun dispersion while moving is on the SU 122 as not as heavy as on the SU 12244. And as you can see, I managed to do in eight, in five games an 80% win chance all alone. And we'll have a look at the best game which I had with a ridiculous amount of damage on Swamp and a ridiculous amount of kills. So stay with me and we'll have a look at it. So here we are in the game of Swamp. As you can see, XVM says it's because we have a lot better players that we have 74% win chance. But still, in some games you're just like mostly, yeah, you don't get enough damage, you don't get enough... Kills, blah, 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 These are the major problems, mostly. But now, you will see that I managed to do with this tank a ridiculous amount of damage and a ridiculous amount of kills. And as you can see, I gave it, obviously, the Raging Raptor Head and the camouflage of the campaign with the Object 907. As you can see already, it turns fairly okay-ish. It accelerates fairly okay -ish. I don't know why the Cromwell blocked our teammate here, but as you can see, on this summer flat surface we get on 30 kilometers. And now with a little bit help of a Cromwell, I don't know why he did this, and I don't know why the Cheeto blocked, wanted to block us, we get even on 40 kilometers. And because you don't have my face today, because I'm pretty tired and I am in my pajama, you even see what we are riding, which is wee. <laughs> And yeah, and now we go on swamp on the most obvious position for a TD in my opinion, or the second most obvious position, and we will have already our first fail. Because look at this, aiming, aiming, missed. But it doesn't matter, 6.12 seconds reload time. It doesn't matter, our teammates didn't have a chance to shoot at him, seriously. <laughs> this is ridiculous and as you also can see the gun is actually quite okay when it comes to gun depression it has minus six compared to the su 100s minus four but still it is a russian gun so it is not as accurate as it might think of but i think screw that from the script look at this right now donk <laughs> reloading reloading and Donk. <laughs> it is accurate enough. Already one kill. And as you can see, we bounced that off 
unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. We just made one more blind shot and... We brewed that one up good. He burned to death, which is actually really cool that he burned to death for our kill. Seriously, you will see it later. And now, seriously, look at look at this. This DPM is crazy. One more shot, 450 damage. And... Finish him off. <laughs> they don't even have a chance, to be honest. Y y you just out DPM everybody. In return, unfortunately, you don't have such good camouflage and you don't have preferable matchmaking. You, you see tier 9 tanks, but it can happen. It can happen with everybody, but look at this. We already have 2000 points of damage. This is really, really well already in the game, especially with two other purple tarts or blue tomatoes, I like to call them. And as you can see, you need to watch out with your ammunition. You have a okayish accuracy, but it is not as good as it could be. You have only 32 shots, seriously. 32 shots is not much. Especially with this high amount of rate of fire. Yeah, high amount of rate of fire, I know, stupid sentence. Because in the end you are able to shoot 3.2 minutes without any stopping. Seriously, only 3.2 minutes. 3.2 minutes of ammunition. This is not enough. This is really not much. And as you can see right now, b b well, we make a beautiful D-Track shot and as you can see now, our PNXR friend is so kind that he doesn't want to give us the kill that he just blocked our shot. <sighs> nice guys, nice guys. Don't be that guy, seriously. But meanwhile, because we are going to do another blind shot, so cheers for that one. As you can see right now, the SC-100 is still spotted, spotted, and it gets unspotted. We got him. We got World of Tanks 66. But now, because we need to drive on further and we still have four targets left, we can look at the tank, because the tank looks, in my opinion, really well made. I have really something for tanks with a lot of things on it, like chests, some tissues, these locks, and things like this. Also the gun. I really do love it, and the model looks gorgeous. And yeah, now back to our kills. We have 2.4k damage, and look at this. We aim, aim, and... It was harsh to hit them, but we got him! Five kills already! And now we go for the Firefly, which is another one shot for us! Look at this! Aim, steady, aim, and bonk! Six kills! Top gun secured! Roughly 3k damage! We don't know how much damage we did in the blind shot on the KV4, uh, KV2 because he burned. But six! This is the fifth game I played! Six kills, 3k damage! The gun is amazing. And yes, I wrote, this is good footage. <laughs> and yes, now as you can see, it is not as fast as it could be. And also we're now shooting gold. I so I'm sorry, but we got another kill. And I have to say, I probably wasted some of my DPM, but you saw seven kills. What does eight kills give us? You're right. A Radley Walters. So I decided to wait till he lost some HP and finish him off for the eighth kill, eighth kill in this gorgeous game. And holy smokes, seriously, holy smokes, <laughs> we've got in this battle nine ninety-two thousand credits and two one thousand nine hundred thirty-five. Experience. It was not a daily. We got a Red Levels and a Top Gun medal and the arsonist for burning somebody. And this is ridiculous, seriously. Because now we see that we did 4k damage. We did close to 3 times as much damage as the all 44 We did 4 times more damage than the Hummel. It's ridiculous, seriously. 
It was a good game though, I have to say this. Don't accept all games like this. I hold all the games with which I did 1300 damage, and tier 9, 2000 damage, and another one with 3k damage. But, well played, this tank has a ridiculous amount of DPM. And, holy smoke, seriously. 17 shells shot, 15 hit, 13 penetrations. I did Two f I did more than half of my damage over 300 meters, which is actually really much. And as you can see, I spotted one vehicle, did 600 spotting damage, and it even generates quite a lot of money, in my opinion. I, I needed to pay a little bit for the T29. I know, not really good. I'm sorry for that one, but happens. I still got 76,000 credits with premium and 46,000 without. And as you can see, even for the bonus, I get 2,300 experience still at the end. It is really, yeah. And I have to say, as a conclusion for this tank, it is a good tank, it is a gorgeous tank, it is a fun tank, and I have to say, even when you have the SU, you, when you have the SU, you need to think, do you really want another premium tank? When you don't have the ISU 12244, I have to say this tank is actually really worth to get. Seriously. I, I really have to say I had fun in these five ga games and I will play it more often when I have time again. Trust me. It has a ridiculous amount of DPM. It looks gorgeous. 29 euros might be much for one tank only. You get gold, you get 2550 gold and 3 days of premium. But I have to say, in my opinion, it is worth. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you liked it. Leave a like, you leave a comment. Tell me what was good, what was bad. I tried to do a, a mix of a review and a comparison with another tank. I hope it was not too long. And yeah, as always, good luck on the battlefield, and bye-bye.